I'm Janine Ellis. I'm going back to school with Student Edge. Hi, I'm Simon Murado and today I'm sitting down with Janine Ellis, founder of Boost Juice and one of the Shark Tank Sharks. How scary is that? It is. is a that, shark tank. It feels a bit wrong to say, to describe you as a shark. Is it that does. insulting in any way or is that you... Well, look, for some, funnily enough, the others are really happy to call themselves sharks, right? right? <laughs> and then when people go, I, I, I'm an investor on the Shark Tank show, because I just can't sure. shark. It's just wrong. Janine, what were you like as a high school student? Uh, super average. Like, super, super average. Uh, didn't, I was sort of probably a BC student. Okay. Uh, never did homework, ever. Uh, and, um, you know, the school I went to actually was a tech school. So I never wore a uniform. I've never worn a school uniform in my life. Uh, the school taught you how to do woodwork and sheet metal and typing and a bit of bookkeeping and cooking, which didn't stick. Uh, and so it was one of those schools. So it actually didn't even have a year 12. Right. It only went to a year 11. So when you finish school, you didn't even go, oh, we'll go to university or we'll study this or this or this. We just went, oh, we're now in the workforce. And none of my peers went to university. So now, you know, now that I've got my own kids and, you know, they're sort of at the stage of going to university, I go, how bizarre that I didn't even think about it or contemplate it. So it's, it's just the path you take. So why do you think that was, and you maybe weren't so engaged, was it that those subjects weren't where your passions lied? Or, or was it kind no. of just the, the culture of the school, perhaps? It was the culture of the area. So at the moment, where kids are going to school now, they go, you know, we're talking a few years ago, uh, they go, well, okay, I'll finish year 12 and I'll get good marks and I'll get a certain score and I'll choose my university and if I'll, go, I'll continue going, I might have a sabbatical or not, or, you know, they're the choices they make. For us, there was no one in my area or in my school that went, right, I'm gonna, I'd like to study law, I'd like to study this. It was just not that school. It was a tech school. A tech school was designed to create trades. Um, no, in hindsight, I would have loved to do law. In hindsight, and actually, funnily enough, I'm actually a bloody good legal person <laughs> sure. in this business, and probably good luck anyone understanding trademarks more than me. Um, so, but it's, but it wasn't a negative. It was just the way it was. Okay. Did you have, uh, I guess, professional goals? Did, were you able to go? Well, I'm not loving this, but I want to become this when I leave school. Or, you know, in 20 years' time, I hope I'm doing this. Did, could you? Do you have that foresight, or again, was the school maybe not conducive to that planning? No. Look, I was 16. I was just going, you know, um, what guy likes me? Will he call me tomorrow? Uh, what's my latest outfit I want to wear? Am I going to win my grand final in Nepal? And, um, you know, what pub can I go to to you know, have a bit of fun? Like, that's what I was thinking about at 16. Sure. I wasn't the girl who, who went, I had my best, first business idea at 16. All I wanted uh, pretty much from, you know, I started work. I started working in an advertising agency as a junior, junior, junior burger in the 80s. Uh, so we're talking, you know, big hair and big pads on the shoulders. And it was really about um, saving enough money to travel. For me, my goal and my, my vision was to, to go around the world. I told my parents I was going to travel for three months and seven years later I returned. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Every parent's nightmare, by the way. But... <laughs> shocking, shocking, right? And God help me if my children do the same thing. I hope they don't. Uh, and you know, so for me, it was about you know having an adventure, you know. And I got myself into all sorts of pickles. I was young and dumb, you know, dumb girl traveling around, far too short shorts, having an absolute ball. End up being on David Bowie's yacht, worked for him for a couple of years. Rocks, you know, hang hung out with rock stars, you know, went to everywhere from Europe to the Caribbean to the Canary Islands to you know just let life take me on a journey. And everyone has their aha moment at different ages you know for me it was my late 20s you know so you know those the people watching this and going oh my god i've got to get these marks because i've got to work out what i want to do for the rest of my life i'm i don't know what i want to do for the rest of my life <laughs> you know you just gotta you know sometimes you know you do your best that you can possibly do which gives you options you know university gives you options good marks on year 12 gives you options it doesn't mean you'll fail or it doesn't mean you'll succeed in life and I think that's the key thing because why you'll succeed in life is the tenacity and the drive and the job that you do along the way, not just the marks. And I'm not taking away from how important that marks are, particularly if you want to get into the courses you want to get into. But don't get hung up on it because life is there's there is life beyond university. There's life beyond, you know, good marks. 
That when, was a very long question. No, it was great. We covered question. a lot of points, and that, I love you've it. Got, you've probably gone through your whole list now. No, Done. no. I, I, believe me, we have not even touched. <laughs> like I said, we were coming back to David Bowie, and I'm curious. Okay. You know, even now, when you look back on those odd jobs, jobs you had taken, as you said, just to make money, just to have those experiences. Do you feel like, well, I actually learned so many lessons from that that, I, that apply today. Like, what life lessons do you learn okay. from David Bowie on a yacht? Yeah, look, I think the two, two key things. In actual fact, if someone's watching this and they are so freaking angry at their, at their um, university lecturer or teacher or boss and they think he's a jerk, right, there's more lessons in that than, than smooth sailing. So, the, like, for example, when I was in Singapore, I was, I was working seven days a week, doing a great job. We, we turned the cinema around, really profitable. And the boss came up and said um, to my boss, I went, oh, he's here, how exciting. And his only comment was the fact that I was wearing a top that didn't have any sleeves. <laughs> and so I went, that's outrageous. I'll never do that to someone. And so, I don't know, you have a look at my office. There is lawyers in board shorts, right? I don't care what people wear. It's actually what they do. And so quite often the result of a bad boss will teach you more things about how you can be than a good experience. Now, but, but David Bowie, yeah, look. What was his policy on sleeves? Uh, he was naked half the time, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he had any problem with sleeves. All these great experiences, they've obviously, you know, brought you to where you are and, and all these great stories. Are there any regrets about that time? Do you feel like, well, that actually was a mistake. That particular detour set me back a few months or, or is it all just accumulative? Yeah. Look, that's a great question and the answer is there is absolutely not one regret that I have. That doesn't mean that I haven't done things wrong. That doesn't mean I've slept with the wrong guy, right? That doesn't mean that um, I, you know, I wish I had done things differently in some respects because in actual fact, you are a sum of all the things that you do, right or wrong. I have been not necessarily nice, so nice to some people. I have done, like there's a long list I could write to you and say the things that I haven't, it hasn't made me the, a great person, which I would have liked to have been a better person. Would have, absolutely. And there was decisions I made. And in business, you know, I've made some decisions which have cost the business a lot of money. Which that, but you get to a point where you go, without all of those things that I did wrong, I couldn't be where I am. I couldn't be the person I am because these are the lessons in life that actually make me who I am and I quite like me. Janine, thanks so much for your time today. No, my pleasure. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or find more of our stuff at didnedge.com.au.